On an almost daily basis here on Newsroom Africa, Channel 405, you'll see our reporters inside or outside a courtroom explaining the latest in a court case. It's not very often, though, that the people who manage the prosecutors in the various provinces will agree to speak to you. You can imagine the job that they have. To have they have to manage the NPA and in particular provinces and make important legal decisions to ensure there is justice for the victims of crime and for their families. The Director of Public Prosecutions in Northwest is Dr. Makarai Sekhalelo, and she's agreed to speak to you this afternoon. Ma'am, good afternoon to you, and I really do appreciate the time. Thank you. Some of the big crimes that you've been dealing with involve crimes of violence, and particularly crimes of gender-based violence, of men attacking women. How difficult are you finding to get justice for victims in these crimes in Northwest? Uh, good afternoon. Um, it is true that uh, we do experience some challenges, more especially on the cases relating to gender-based violence, because... Um, these are cases where you find that some family members do really start to be or to be involved in these cases dealing with the witnesses. In some instances, you find that uh, relatives are discouraging the witnesses to come forward to testify. And that also uh, uh, gives us a problem because when the victim is at home surrounded by family members who are against the fact that this person has reported a case, it, it's not easy to get that witness to come forth and testify. Hence, we are trying to mobilize the communities with our project of community prosecutions to try to educate the communities that, you know, when you are encouraging somebody not to come forth and testify, you are not helping because that kind of violence will continue because some people, are, some people tend to get away with it. So our communities need to understand that for them, the victims of crime, to get justice, they still need to come before the courts and testify. Um, why do family members do that? I mean, is there money changing hands? Is something else happening? Uh, one cannot rule that out, although I don't have evidence that that truly happened, but one can justifiably be suspicious that uh, some people might be uh, getting some money and then encourage the victim to come and say, now I want to withdraw the matter, I'm no longer interested. Some might even say, I can't remember, things like that. I mean, we in can't one rule it out. In, sorry to interrupt you. In one case recently, I mean, a man called Lucas Chauke uh, in Northwest in your division, he was sentenced to two life terms for murder and rape and 30 years for other counts of murder and rape. This man ruined so many lives. And yes, I imagine that might have been a difficult case to get a conviction in. Yeah, it may not have been that easy, but our prosecutors are dedicated because in this province, gender-based violence, we take it very seriously. And we try the best way we can to make sure that victims of crime do, at the end of the day, receive justice. You've also had some high-profile cases of fraud and corruption. Um, and these cases can be really difficult to prove. We've seen people in these cases getting top lawyers to defend them. In Northwest, are you able to get justice in those cases? Yes, in... in most instances, we do get convictions, although dealing with these cases that you just mentioned, it's not that easy because commercial cases, for example, we rely on documents, documentary evidence. Some documents you may find that they are no longer there. They also have these uh, uh, lawyers who come and uh, uh, come with interlocutory applications, which delays also. But we do actually get convictions in these matters, and we are still striving to make sure that at the end of the day justice is done, and not only being done, but seen to be done. The issue of delays, I mean, we see it across the country. I'm sure you see it in your division. We see it in all of the divisions where you have delay after delay after delay. It can take years for there to be justice. Do you have any suggestions on how we can speed up the justice system, how we can get to justice more quickly? In actual fact, in the Northwest Province, what we have come to realize is 
As a starting point, let's ramp up our collaboration with SAPS and DPCI. Because when we are working closely together, trusting each other, guiding each other, we can easily come to a point where all evidence is collected and the matter can be brought to court much sooner and probably get finished quite sooner. So we have ramped up this uh, collaboration. We have a, a, a project called Back to Basics, where we are now going around the province having training sessions with prosecutors and investigators so that we all uh, move from the same page and we get to understand our environment, we get to understand each other, and hopefully that it will yield results soon. And ma'am, in your position, I mean, you occupy the key prosecutorial position in Northwest. Uh, it's, it must be a very difficult job. Do people try and put pressure on you to make certain decisions? Do you find that people try and interfere with your independence? Or are you free to make your decisions properly, completely independently? I must honestly tell you, no one has ever tried me to influence me at all. Um, remember, when you occupy these kind of positions where people will try to influence you, how you conduct yourself is very important. You make it clear from the onset that I am not going to tolerate any untoward kind of influence. And also, you make sure also that you try to avoid finding yourself in compromising situations where you, you are now open to people coming to approach you and try to talk to you. But I must emphasize, since I started in this position, no one, nobody has ever tried to influence me. Ma'am, thank you very much indeed. I really appreciate the time. Dr. Makarai Sekalelo is the Director of Public Prosecutions in Northwest Province.